Collins, you took over a storied football program here at Helix, complete with NFL alum, state bowl titles. How awesome is it to be part of this winning tradition? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, I, I've told everybody since day one I got offered the job. It was like winning a lottery ticket. This culture of the school and just the environment and, as you said, the NFL guys and, and just the expectations has been off the charts. It has been the top most consistent football program since 1977, and it's not close. Helix has only had one losing season, and they've been to the playoffs every year except for two. In the 70s, Helix wasn't the greatest team in San Diego, but we built on that in 78, 79, 80. We had probably the best teams in San Diego. You know, obviously with Coach Arnais and all the things that he did and building the program up to where it is now, and, and it's been an amazing experience to continue the tradition we built. You own a huge chunk of this very successful program. When you look at that, how amazing is that time? Oh, it was a, it was a great time. I mean, amazing maybe because, you know, you had some great players and you got a chance to win some championships. But you won't do that without good players. You won't do that without good coaches. You won't do that without a good school. And all those things were, were here. If we go down memory lane, we talk about what was different then than it is now, how lucky they are now, and how unfortunate we were then. But, you know, we started a winning tradition. And I think having that winning tradition is important because we carry that to the existing players. I think it's really important to, for us to come back and talk to the guys about how it was back then. You know, my greatest memory is probably when we played Oaks Christian two years ago and, you know, Reggie came on our sidelines and, you know, he gave a little halftime speech during the halftime when we were down and, you know, I walk in there as a head coach and I'm like, I don't need to say anything. I mean, Reggie, you know, if they can't, if they're not going to listen <laughs> to Reggie, they're not going to listen to me. <laughs> Reggie was amazing. I remember thinking to myself, if this kid doesn't like make it in the NFL, then I have no concept of how good those guys must be. I played with Alex Smith. You know, for us, when we played on Fridays, you know, that was, in a sense, the party for us. You know, we felt like that was a time when we got to go out and just have fun. And we said, wow, I think we're gonna, we're gonna be pretty good. And we were. Right. <laughs> Describe what it's like to play in a Super Bowl. I mean, that's not yeah. something everyone gets to experience oh, in their gosh. lifetime. It was something else. It was so exciting to be able to walk out on that field, be introduced, Leon White, Helix High School, BYU, and it was one of the proudest moments of my life. To see uh, Leon in the Super Bowl, my gosh, that was awesome. And then, of course, Chuck, he was another poster child that has played well. Chuck Cecil was, he was on the All Madden team a couple years, got a chance to, to be on the Sports Illustrated. They had the cover of him with the bloody nose. He could knock anyone's block off, and I think he, he enjoyed that more than anything. What does it mean to be a Helix Highlander? Uh, once a Scotty, always a Scotty. It's just awesome seeing people that came from where you came from, growing up, how you grew up, in the same atmosphere, in the same location. A tradition that they've had through the years, you just expect things to go your way because you're Helix, you're gonna find a way. You know, when you hear the bagpipes playing before the game and all those little things that people probably take for granted, it makes Helix what it is.